Hello guys and welcome to a new video I wanna start this season by showcasing my favorite gun of all time the MX-9 and I know I already showcased it last season but this time I'll be using the large caliber mag instead of the hybrid mag and what it does it increases the overall damage but in return you're sacrificing mag capacity so you will be carrying 10 less ammo so what I'm gonna do now I'll be testing the damage of this loadout shown on the screen to see how much damage it does to an enemy with a level 3 vest and 150 HP and then we'll compare it to the previous build we made last season with the hybrid mark to see the damage difference and whether it's worth it or not and after we're done with the testing I'll show you a crazy game full of action and full of kills showcasing the power of the large caliber MX-9 I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you find it useful let's get started So the MX-9 with large caliber deals 19 damage to the chest and with a fire rate of 860 rounds per minute it can kill an enemy within 488 milliseconds which is insane because not only it beats the hybrid mag version of the MX-9 but it also beats the Fennec the gun with the fastest fire rate in the game because the Fennec has a killing time of 535 milliseconds and if you think that's crazy then wait till you hear this the large caliber mag increases the damage of all body parts so it increases the leg damage by 4 the chest damage by 3 and the head damage by 5 which is ridiculous and that's not it because if we compare the MX-9 to the Fennec the MX-9 wins in two other things first of all is the vest penetration in here you can see side to side comparison of the enemy armor after 4 shots to the chest and you can notice that the MX-9 damaged the vest more than the Fennec which can highly affect the killing time against enemies with a damaged vest the second thing is the hipfire accuracy and again you can see that the MX-9 has higher hipfire accuracy than the Fennec I mean the gunsmith build you choose obviously makes a difference but overall the MX-9 has better hipfire accuracy and easier to control so yeah forget about the Fennec the MX-9 is the best close range gun in the game right now next to the one top shotguns like the HS-04 and the BY-15 and now that we're done with the testing we're gonna see this beast in action so let's move on to the gameplay I had a really intense and fun game but before we start I'm trying something new here and I want you guys to share your opinion in the comments so you'll notice that the gameplay in this video is in full screen compared to the previous videos where there were black bars on the sides and sadly that's an issue with ipad recordings they come with sidebars obviously full screen is better but in order to have a full screen i had to zoom in a little bit which means the gun section isn't visible as well as the number of kills and the minimum they're not that important but it's up to you guys i can move the number of kills inside but the gun section and the map are a bit hard to move because i'm used to them being there as for the actual gameplay itself it's not a affected because I set my field of view to 80 so you won't miss anything another good thing about having full screen is that the quality is much better so please watch the video and let me know what you prefer do you like full screen with higher quality or do you want me to go back to showing everything but with black bars anyway in this game there was no platform so the second best option was the black market it was a highlighted area next to the plane bath and I can get a helicopter if I survive and I don't know about you guys but I'm starting to love games without the platform because whenever the platform spawns most sweat squads land there and most of them get killed and as a result the rest of the game becomes a bit boring where you'll mostly fight bots and weak players and overall it becomes harder to get more kills but this game was full of action from the start to the end mainly because there was no platform and i ended up getting many kills so this is my plan for the black market land underground get as much loot as possible and eliminate any players inside and once you're done use the airborne to get vision over the area and plan your next attack When you rush enemies like this my advice is to avoid flying straight to their face because good enemies will shoot you while you're in midair and even one shot you with a shotgun when you get close to them so it's best to steer to the sides Oh, <laughs> 
When I'm the one being rushed like this, what I like to do is sprint, then slide and jump as soon as they land. And it's mostly helpful against shotguns. So in this case, not only I avoided echo shots, but I also avoided the defender stun. Those were some clean wipes and I managed to come out with 8 kills, 7 of them were real players. After that I went to the airdrop and I prioritized my AK-47 because the blue MX-9 honestly is more than enough. Then I upgraded my ninja class on the way to the farm and I ended up chasing a helicopter all the way to the docks where another airdrop was landing there. Now I can say that I'm 100% ready for anything. One thing to keep in mind that when you use caliber mag, you're sacrificing ammo capacity. Even though I'm using a purple extended mag, I only have 45 bullets. Compared to using a hybrid mag, which gives you 10 extra bullets and extra reload speed on top of that. So that's something you need to consider when picking the mag. Do you want to go for extra damage with the caliber mag or do you want extra ammo capacity and reload speed with the hybrid mag? After that, I headed towards the next airdrop and that's what you need to do if you're looking for more action and more kills. It's always a party near airdrops and it was a big party here. I believe there were three squads around that area. I don't know how much health this guy had but that was a fast knock just to show the power of this build and since his teammate didn't rush me there it means that he's reviving the one I knocked in the start so I decided to rush them while they're busy. While jumping down, I noticed that this enemy is busy healing up and has his bug turned on. So I decided to switch to the other one and eliminate him first because he's the bigger threat here. 
another clean wipe eliminating another sweaty squad next i had to enter the circle and i managed to get even more kills on the way Here I was getting sandwiched from two sides plus a helicopter above my head so the safest option was to change position and plan another attack. That was a great awareness and smart use of the cover by the enemy on the roof and that's how you know that the player is decent and that you need to be a bit careful i was fully exposed to him while he had his body cover so i jumped down right away once i realized i'm at a disadvantage The fight wasn't worth it because the enemy was pretty good and he had trickster which means he can hear all my steps loud and clear. Even if I engage and kill him there is a big chance that the zone will finish me off so I decided to play safe and enter the zone to fight in better circumstances.
I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you found the testing useful to help you decide which gun to use at close range. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be highly appreciated. Nice. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.